today, Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. I teach vintage lovers how to create successful vintage and antique businesses that they love. It's my favorite thing to do. Today I want to share with you some of my recent vintage finds. I'll share with you the prices I paid for them as well as what I think they're worth. Almost everything I'm going to show you I bought at thrift stores because it's the middle of winter and there just aren't any garage sales and very few estate sales. Why don't we start with some of my wooden finds. This is a folk art cat that I picked up at Salvation Army. Not old, it's handmade, I call it, I'd call it modern folk art. It was $1.99. I think I can sell it for about $15 or $20. I think he's kind of handsome. I picked these up at a local thrift called Captain's Treasures. It benefits youth in trouble. It's actually a pair and they have regular sales there on their home goods. So these are marked $5 each, but I got them for five dollars total, two fifty each. Not really old, but boy, I just really liked them. Thought they were interesting. They look great on the wall, and I will probably put twenty five dollars on each of those. These two pieces were in my in laws' house for a long time. I bought them while I was there a, a long time ago, and I totally forgot about them. This is an old plane. It's missing the metal piece that would have gone in here. It looks like I paid $3 for it. It's a really nice sort of architectural piece. You could put something in here like succulents or plant. Really nice look. It's very dry. I'm gonna wax it and that will make it look really great. I'm gonna say $25 on that one. And then a, a little wash board. It's, it has a bit of trouble there. <laughs> I'll clean that up and probably do something with it. I'm thinking it would look great with a wreath on it at Christmas time. Let's take a look at some glass. Don't buy clear glass. It does not sell unless it's really valuable, like Waterford or something like that. This is a set of coasters that I picked up. They're marked Jamestown, so they were obviously a souvenir from Jamestown, dated 1608-1978. They were a dollar for the four, probably ten dollars. Sell those for ten. If you follow me on Instagram or my stories on Facebook Marketplace, then you've already seen this candy dish, bonbon dish. I asked, I videotaped it and asked people if they thought I should buy it or leave it. Most people said buy it. It was 99 cents at Salvation Army. I really like it. <laughs> I might keep it for a little while. I think it's worth about $12. This is interesting. This came also from Captain's Treasures and was half off. It's a glass tray or platter with 22 karat gold design. It's signed George Briard right down here. He was a Ukrainian artist who changed his name to make it sound kind of French. I think he graduated from Chicago University with a master's in art and he's a fairly well-known mid-century modern designer huge output so there is a lot of his um, product out on the market I do think that this will sell on eBay make in the, I'm hoping in the 20 to 25 dollar range that's what I'm hoping Mid-Century Modern does very well for me on eBay, not well at all from my antique booth. So that's the glass. Let's look at the pottery. 
This also came from Captain's Treasures. Is that the cutest little pottery planter? Little duck. I'm going to have a hard time parting with that. I think he's worth about $10. I paid a dollar. Love, love, love these salt and pepper shakers. They are uh, English Majolica will fit in beautifully with ironstone they were half off so that was three dollars for the pair made in england love these if i sell them i will price them at about 25 dollars speaking of ironstone here is a an ironstone tea leaf gold decoration, very common, especially for ironstone lovers, uh, American white ironstone lovers. Also, occasionally liked a little bit of gold detail on their ironstone. I would date this to the 18, late 1800s, and it's unmarked, paid a dollar for it, and I'm thinking about keeping it because it's so big. It's like, it's American sized. <laughs> I would like to use that. Picked up a toothpick. Toothpicks sell really well for me and he was just kind of adorable, this little donkey. He was $2. Sell him for, for about $10, $10. Last piece of ceramic is this made in Japan bisque doll. Some, some of these are made in Germany and marked made in Germany on the back. I'm gonna call her a flapper because of her headdress. I bought her for a dollar because I wanna use her head for a project. I'm thinking like a garden angel project. If she was not broken, She's missing fingers, is she? No, she's just missing her hand really on that side, but she'd be worth about eight or $10. I also picked this up at Captain's Treasures. It was 25 cents and it's a rattan woven heart that actually opens over on the side. It's got a little clasp there, so I'm thinking like a sachet holder, like a room sachet holder, but is that darling for Valentine's Day? If I were gonna sell that, I'd probably put 10 or 12 on that. Also at Captain's Treasures, an Argus camera, 250. I'm trying to think, these were called, they're a boxy camera, so I think that's what they were called box boxy something like that i'll have to look that up cameras sell for um well this one sells probably for about 10 15 20 dollars on ebay and from my booth i would probably put 15 dollars on that and like i said it was 250 so that was a good deal i also asked uh Instagram followers, Facebook followers, and stories if I should buy this painting. I really liked it. Most people said yes, but a lot of people said no. It was $3.99. Got it at Schenectady City Mission Thrift Store in Glenville, New York. And I think a nice dark frame on that will really finish that off well. Uh, Without a frame, I would price it at 15 to 18 dollars, but with a frame, it could go up to like 35 if I if I'm able to find the perfect frame for it, which since I have a lot is is I have a good chance of that. I picked up a couple of books. This one was 50 cents. I I love the cover with that airplane, so. I think because of the cover, it would sell for about five or six dollars. I, I bought it thinking I would like to use the inside for projects because it's this wonderful old uh, sort of manila color that I really like. 
I asked on Instagram, should I buy some patterns? And I picked up three. Are those great? They were a dollar each. I make the cutest bookmarks with these patterns. I will link to the, the blog post that has instructions for that. I also asked, oh, and everyone on Instagram said yes, buy them. I asked about little golden books. I got a lot of no's, but I have a little golden book course that I'm working on right now that I will be publishing very soon. I will let you know about that. And so I needed these. I, um, I'm going to have a price guide that goes along with it. And some of these are by famous authors. This is Eloise Wilkin. Did the, she did the artwork on this one. She's one of the most famous artists for Little Golden Books. She's the artist behind Prayers. And Busy Timmy is also Eloise Wilkin. And then Tibor Gurgli is another very well-known little golden book artist, and he did Mr. Puffer Bill. And I think he also did The Little Red Caboose. Yes, he also illustrated that one. So super interesting. Those were 50 cents each. And then I picked up this um, cross-stitch patterns for the entire alphabet based on Beatrix Potter. It was 29 cents and I am going to list it on Etsy probably for 15 or $20. I sold a Beatrix Potter cross stitch kit for $30 and I, they're very popular. She's very popular. The last two items that I bought are this Anton Piek, I think I'm pronouncing that properly, purse, well-known um, artist and designer, beautiful lucite handle, and very sweet decoration. It's lined with velvet. I need to do a little bit of cleaning. It's in super good shape. One corner is bashed in, which is unfortunate, but it was $3.99. And my cursory examination of eBay tells me it should sell for at least $25, if not more. I have to do some more research on that. If you know anything about it, let me know, okay? And then the final buy is this thermos, which everyone said that I should buy. Look at that great green color. I have a, a lot of orange and tan for fall. I decorate with them in, in the fall, and this one's gonna fit in nicely, or it can fit in perfectly with Christmas also, but I have a lot of red. But maybe it needs green to balance it. It was $2.99 at Salvation Army. It's probably my favorite, <laughs> my favorite buy, <laughs> my favorite recent buy. I hope you enjoyed seeing my vintage finds. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, if you'd give me a thumbs up, if you'd leave a comment. Don't forget to check out my blog, Adirondack Girl at Heart, where you'll find lots more vintage uh lots of articles about collecting and about buying and selling and how to care for your vintage and antiques and things like that. I think you're going to love it. Take care and happy hunting.